This morning we have a parable from Jesus. Now a parable is a story that is an earthly story with a heavenly message. The story today is my story. It's a story of me and my brother and my father. We lived a good life. We had a nice house. We had land that we owned. We had servants who waited on us. We had plenty of food, a nice place to sleep. But I wasn't happy. I, I thought this was boring. There must be something more wonderful out there. I needed to get out there. But the only way for me to do that was to get my part of the money that I was going to get later on. So even though it was against the rules, I went to my father and I said, can I have my half of the land that I will get later, the money from that land? My father said, okay. I couldn't believe it. So he gave me my portion, and I started out on my journey. Packed everything up that I had. I went out to see what was going to be out there for me. Unfortunately, I liked it too much. I spent my money all on things that weren't worthwhile. I used it up very quickly, and pretty soon I had no money left. Now I didn't know what to do. I had no job, no money, and to make things worse, a famine came in the country. Do you know what a famine is? Let's see, a famine? Cholera? No food, no food. So I have no job, no money, no food. They told me what to do. I'm gonna have to get a job. The only job I could find was way out in the field, feeding the smelly pigs. And that was the only thing I could find. But I was so hungry. So I was out there feeding the pigs, thinking, I am so hungry, I am willing to eat the slop that I'm feeding these pigs. I started thinking as I got sadder and sadder, there must be something I can do. At home I had a warm bed to sleep in, a family that loved me, food to eat. I'm going to have to go back there. I'm going to go back there and ask my father for forgiveness and say that you don't have to treat me back as your son. I am willing to be one of the servants. That's how much I want to come back. I was a little afraid, but I decided to do it. So I started my long walk back. Every step I took, I was a little worried about what was waiting there for me, that my father might turn me away. But as I got closer and I could see him way off in the distance, I thought, please don't, as you see me, turn around and go away. Not only did he not turn around and go away, but he ran towards me. He ran towards me and hugged me and kissed me. He was so excited to see me. And I said the speech I had rehearsed, Father, please forgive me because I have done wrong things against you. You don't have to take me back as your son. Take me back as a servant. Well, my father didn't even think about it. He turned around and he called to the servants and he said, bring the finest robe and put it on my son. Bring him the most beautiful jewelry that we have. In fact, let's have a party. He said, get the food prepared because my son was lost and now he's found. My son, who I thought was dead, is now alive. Well, I couldn't believe it. He was going to forgive me and not only that, he was going to take me back as his son. So we went inside and the party was getting started. But my brother now came back from the fields and he heard all the music inside. And he said to one of the servants, what is going on? What is that party? And the servant said, you won't believe it. Your brother, who we thought was lost, has returned. See, my brother was happy. He was not. He was angry. He was mad. He said, I'm not going into a party to celebrate a brother who ditched me and left me here with all the work. So my father went outside. And he said to the son, why are you so angry? So the son said, I've been here the whole time. I've been here doing exactly following the rules, what you wanted me to do. You didn't give me a party. And now you're giving a party for the son who went away, used up all the money, and has come back. And the father said, that is true. I love you just the same. And I'm grateful for all you have done and stayed. But your brother was lost. 
and now he's found. Your brother was always dead, and now he is alive. So we will celebrate. Let us pray. Dear God, sometimes we wander away from you. Sometimes we turn our backs. Sometimes we forget the love that you have for us always. Help us to realize and continue to know that when we turn back, when we walk the to come back to you, you will always be waiting there for us with us.